Hey guys, so uh, I got a request uh, a few days ago on how to create uh, alerts on the uh, trading pressure indicator. Essentially, this indicator shows um, how much pressure is on to a direction. Uh, if there is adequate pressure, there is a very good chance of the trend continuing. And if there is the, the, the pressure is declining, there is a very good chance for uh, reversing on the trend. So uh, just for the sake of uh, uh, experiment I'm going to show you how to create an alert on this indicator so essentially what you do is you go into this uh, little um, triangle right click add the alert and um, you should have the condition set as uh, you see as TPI and uh, you should change the value to um, you should change the, the value selection from uh, crossing to greater than and uh, you got to set the value to zero and uh, select once per bar close and uh, um, you can choose whatever you want and you can choose whatever date it has to expire um, and you can also send an email if you have everything registered and you have uh, play sound you have send an email to SMS uh, you can do all that but uh, and then you hit uh, create and then you wait and uh, see if the alert gets triggered. I feel like there is going to be a little bit of a downtrend coming in here that should kind of pop the alert very soon. Um, there's not a lot of time here um, since it's a few minutes. Uh, if it takes a while, I'll probably edit this video and uh, cut, cut the area to where the alert gets triggered. As you can see the parameter um oops parameter is going to be active here if you want to go back and check uh, where your alerts are set at and uh, let's uh, sit down and wait until the alert gets triggered It's always a time when uh, you said and want to show something that's when it doesn't happen. Um, it's going to be a couple of minutes now that it's kind of consolidating on a one minute chart, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm sure this candle, if it's got enough uh, pressure, it's going to pop up. Let's sit down and watch. Um, that feels like a bigger candle. Let's see if the uh, alert can pop. Okay. Looks like there's not enough pressure on that candle. There you go. There you go. So that's pretty good, right? And uh, so one other thing I wanted to show you is that uh, you need to make sure that it is set at active and uh, uh, if you set this as only once it triggers and it closes, if you set it at one per bar close, it's going to re-trigger the alert every time the condition matches. Up until the expiry date, it's going to keep going on. So that's what I want you to focus on rather than trying to set it at one only once. When you set it at only once, it's going to trigger and uh, it's going to stop. So uh, that being said, everything is uh, what I wanted to show today was uh, completed. Have a fantastic day, guys. Have a fantastic trading day. Bye.